Now, students, today we learn that what is the concept of uh, metacentric height and what is the concept of stability criterion of floating bodies. Okay. So, before starting the lecture, I believe that you know what is the concept of buoyancy and what is the concept of center of buoyancy. Okay. In case you don't know, the details of buoyancy is in this lecture and details of center of buoyancy is in this lecture. So, in short, I will repeat it over here also. We will revise it over here also. Okay. So, let's start. Uh, you can see that this is a floating body. A ship is floating on water. You can see it is coming out of the screen. This is the propeller of ship. Okay. This is coming out of the screen floating on water. Okay. Now, you can see that this ship is deep inside and this much volume of water it is displacing as I am showing by the help of cursor. Okay. So, to make its own space, the amount of water displaced, the amount of water body displaced is you can see this, this that I have shown over here, displaced water body. And we know this thing that center of buoyancy is that point where the entire buoyant force act. Okay. And what is buoyant force? Buoyant force is a force which always acts against the action of gravity. So, over here you can see that the water body displaced by this ship is this and the displaced water body's center of gravity is what center of buoyancy is. Okay. Center of buoyancy is the point where entire buoyant force acts. Okay. So, that point is actually whatever the water body, the floating body is displacing. So, the center of gravity of that water body is center of buoyancy. Okay. And suppose ship's center of gravity is over here, that is G. You can see G I have written. Now, what you have to do is that draw two vertical lines. Okay. One passing through BG. You can see taking this yellow line is passing through BG and one vertical line through B itself. B is the center of buoyancy. Okay. Right now they are coinciding with each other. This dashed blue line is a vertical line passing through B and this thick yellow line is passing through BG. Okay. And G we know is the center of gravity and B is the center of buoyancy. Okay. Now imagine that the ship is given a force so that it has tilted toward right hand side from the top. You can see the ship has been tilted. Okay. Now, in this case, what will happen that the water body the ship will displace is actually this as I am showing by the help of arrow. So, the water body shape will change. The displaced water body shape will change. So, you can see that the center of gravity of this displaced water body has been shifted toward right because more water is there over right. So, center of buoyancy will also shift. The new center of buoyancy is B dash you can see. Okay. Now, keeping the line passing through BG same, the new center of buoyancy is shifted toward right hand side. Now, draw a vertical line from that uh, new center of buoyancy. So, wherever it is meeting with this yellow line, which is passing through BG, is what called as meta center of this system of this floating body this is m the meta center okay which i have written over here also uh, now the rule is to make the body stably float this meta center must be above this center of gravity this point of intersection must be above this g only in that case the floating body will stably float otherwise what will happen it will overturn okay which can be understood by this way see you know this thing that the force applied on center of gravity of ship is in downward direction. You can see Fg is acting on G in downward direction and the force applied on the center of buoyancy is in upward direction. Okay. So, this uh, Fg in downward direction and this Fb is in upward direction. Okay. So, both are constituting a couple which is trying to turn this ship in anti-clockwise direction. You can see these two forces. So, the ship has been tilted toward right, but this force will try to correct the orientation of the ships. So, this is also called as writing moment. Okay. So, it, it will make this uh, floating body to regain its correct orientation. Okay. So, for this thing, this meta center must be above G. Only in that case, this writing moment will be applied and the floating body will regain its correct orientation. So, this can be understood by this another example in which the m is below g so i am taking that so over here what we see that this is a ship but a big mass is kept on it you can see a very big mass so that the center of gravity of the ship has been shifted toward upper side you can see toward upper side the center of gravity of the ship has been shifted now again we will draw a line bg the yellow line okay a vertical line passing through bg and a vertical line passing through only b right now it is it is in correct orientation okay now in case with this condition, this ship is tilted toward right. Then what happens? Let's see. So, what we see? 
that uh, again the displaced water body will change its shape you can see now as i am showing by the help of the arrow this is what the displaced water body that i have shown exclusively over here so new center of buoyancy will shift toward right because more water is there toward right hand side so you can see this b dash will the new center of buoyancy now draw a vertical line keeping this bg same draw a vertical line passing through this new center of buoyancy so it is intersecting over here m okay in this case what is happening you can see this m is below g okay so in this case what will happen now the ship will no more be corrected to regain its stable initial orientation why we can understand it by the help of the force diagram that i am showing see on g the force is applied how much that is equals to fg we know this thing fg is the force applied on g and uh, this is the gravitational force the gravitational pull of earth applied on the ship and uh, force fb is applied uh, from bottom side toward top side okay the reason being this is the buoyant force okay so what we see that fg is toward right hand side of this fb so this will constitute a couple in clockwise direction so this these forces will tend to turn the ship in clockwise direction to rotate this ship in clockwise direction so what will happen this ship will overturn okay the reason being that the meta center is below the center of gravity of this floating body okay so what we have learned that a floating body will remain in stable floating condition only in case this m is above g the meta center of the system at any instance at any time must always be above g then only the floating body will stably float otherwise it will overturn and it will sink inside the liquid so hope by this small lecture you would have understood that what is meta center and what is the stability criterion of floating body thank you